Jesus told us was blessed are the peacemakers. And you know why we're talking about this? If you are a sinner, are you at peace with God? Can you have peace with God? Can you be with God if I am full of sin? Like I do all sorts of bad stuff. Even if I don't do all sorts of bad stuff, even if I just do a little bad stuff, can I be with God who is holy? I can't. I'm not at peace with God. It's like I'm at war with God. You know what I mean? My sin makes it so I have to be separate from God. I can't be with God. How do I have peace with God? You have to pray and ask Jesus to forgive you, right? You have to ask God to forgive you and trust in Jesus that he died for you. And then you can have peace with God. Well, our story today is about a peacemaker, somebody who made peace, and it was a miracle, okay? So I want everybody's eyeballs to look at me. Taylor, you silly boys are going to stop being silly for the next 10 minutes right now. One, two, three, stop. Put down. Okay. Kids, there was the king of Syria. I'll hold it, David, for you to the end. Here, I'll hold that too. The king of Syria. He wanted to beat up Israel. Nope. He wanted to beat up Israel. And he sent his army to attack Israel, to attack Israel, to attack Israel. Israel was God's people. That was God's country, God's nation. Okay, he loved them. Now, Elisha was a prophet. Do you guys know what a prophet is? A prophet is somebody that God, God will, God will talk to the prophet as a man, and then that he would know what God said, and he would tell people. So God said to Elisha, oh, the king of Syria is going to attack. He's going to attack him over there by the river. And then Elisha would go tell the king, don't go by the river. The king of Assyria is going to attack you. The king of Israel is like, I got an idea. I'm going to attack him first. He'd send his army to the river. Bang, oh, pew. He, he'd attack Syria, and Syria would lose. That happened three times, two, three, four times. And the king of Syria was so angry, he said, one of you is a traitor. One of you is telling the king of Israel my secret plan to attack them. And all of his peace guy, I'm like, I'm going to kill you guys, whoever's telling my secrets. And you know what his guys were saying? It's not us. We're not telling the king of Israel anything. There's a prophet in Israel. That was Elisha. You could tell a secret in your bedroom. God hears it, and God tells this man. That's how the king of Israel always knows where you're going to be. And so you know what the king of Syria said? You have what the king of Syria said? Let's go get that prophet. Let's go get the prophet. So Elisha was right here in a city called Dothan. And the king of Syria found out he was in Dothan. He took a huge army to come and get Elisha. And the army went all the way around the city. And Elisha woke up in the morning and his servant woke up in the morning. And his servant came out and saw the army of Syria. He was like... <gasps> We're in so much trouble, master. Look, Elisha, look, look. And you know what Elisha said? Oh, there's more with us than with them. We're going to win. We've got more guys. And the servant was like, what are you talking about? Look at that army. It says there was chariots. There was our soldiers all around the city. And then Elisha prayed, dear God, let my servant, let my friend see your army. And as soon as he prayed, the servant, it's like his eyes opened and he could see angels in the mountains, chariots of fire and angels, an army of angels. And Elisha was like, we're not in trouble. God's with us. And then he prayed, dear God, make the army of Syria blind. And all of the guys, they've got their spears, they've got their swords, and they were about ready to fight. And then they're like, I can't see anything. What's happened? I can't see. Help me. And then the other guy's like, I can't see either. What do you mean you can't see? I can't see. I'm blind. I'm blind. And they were all confused, and they were so scared. And they came. They kind of walked down, and Elisha said to them, he went up to their general, and he said to them, you're in the wrong place. Let me take you where you want to go. Who were they looking for? Were they looking for Elisha? Yeah. He's like, I'll take you to him. Come on. And so he led the blind army 
of, of Syria. He led them all the way from Dothan over to Samaria, and that was the capital city of Israel. And Samaria had a big wall around it. And he led them all into Samaria. So they're inside the city and they shut the gates. And the army's like this. They're like, I don't know where I am. Is it here? Are we safe now? Is, is this where we're supposed to go? And Elisha's like, oh, yeah, this is where you want to be. Dear God, open their eyes. Let them see. And when they opened their eyes, they were in Samaria. And there were soldiers. All the soldiers of Israel had their bows and arrows. And all the soldiers had their swords. And the army of Syria was like, and they probably dropped all their weapons because they couldn't fight. They were in trouble. God got them. And the king of Israel came down and said to Elisha, you brought me the Syrian army? Awesome. Should we kill them? You know what Elisha said? Do you think Elisha said, yeah, kill them? <laughs> Elisha said, nope. You're going to feed them dinner, and you're going to send them free. You're going to send them home and set them free. And the king, he didn't have to listen to Elisha. He listened to God. He listened to Elisha. It says they gave them a big feast, a huge feast. That would have cost a lot of money. And then after they fed them dinner, they said to the Syrian army, you can go home. And they were probably like, you're not going to kill us. We're not going to kill you. And they walked home to Syria. And when they got home, they told their king. And he's like, where's Elisha? Did you catch the prophet? They're like, no, you won't believe it. We were blind. Then we ended up in the city. They could have killed us. They didn't. They fed us dinner, and they sent us home. And do you know what that did? The king of Syria never again attacked Israel. There was peace. They stopped attacking. They stopped trying to fight Israel. Who thinks that's awesome? So cool. Can God do anything? He can do anything, guys. You can pray, and God can do anything. You know what I've been praying for all week? That it would stay dry. Even if it's just the mornings, it would stay dry in the mornings for us. And, guys, if it rained, it'd be okay, but that's what I've been praying for, and God did it. Taylor, sit down. And Piper, sit up. Sit up. Now, do you know what else I've been praying for all week? I have been praying. Hey, look at my faces. Oh, I have one face. Look at my face. I have been praying that anybody who did not know God, didn't trust God, wasn't God's child yet, I have been praying that they would become a Christian. I've been praying that all week. So if you have never trusted God before, if you've never asked God to forgive you, and you want to know for sure that you are his child and that you can be saved from your sin, you can ask your teacher about it today. It's so important, guys. It's the most important. And Katie, you did that, didn't you, with your mom? Katie, on Monday night, she went home, and she said, Mom, I need to say sorry to God. I want to be a Christian. And they prayed. And you prayed. It was great. So if you haven't done that yet, ask your teacher if you want to, okay? Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we love you very, very much. I pray these kids would remember that you, Jesus, are the only way to have peace with your Father. There's no other way to God except through you, Jesus, because of what you did to die for us, and you paid for our sin and rose again. And we love you. I pray you be with these kids and bless their small group time right now. In your name, amen.